So I just, I just, or I just write, I can't talk. <laughs> Jesus, I would do that. I'm pouring a tablespoon, no, a teaspoon of this sugar-free banana cream instant pudding, jello, whatever it is, into my yogurt. I just stir that up and put it in the refrigerator for a few hours, and this will be like my late night snack. Um, on the other hand, my brother, he bought a bag of like mixed chocolates from Target. They had these two, a Reese cup, and then a dark chocolate version of this. I already ate the Reese cup in the dark chocolate version. So good. But I'm saving these because I don't want to eat them all um, on the same day. But they're so good. I'm really surprised by that. And I went to the store with my brother. And I told him I need to get some cilantro and lime so I can make this salsa. Why did I forget it? Again, every single time I want to make salsa, I forget the cilantro and lime. I'm like, am I just not supposed to have it in there? Is that what this is? So now I have all the ingredients for my salsa except for the cilantro and lime. Yet again, I probably end up using tahini because I'm not, I'm not going back to the store. I'm not. <laughs> it's Saturday, it's Sunday, and I'm trying to relax. I already worked out this morning. I went for my run. Um, I was already outside picking up the yard and watering the garden. I walked to Target and back. I'm, I'm not going back out there. And it's hot. It's supposed to be cool. It's like 75 degrees. I feel like it's 80 degrees. I didn't got so much sun exposure. I am done. And I'm doing laundry. And I still got to go to the gym tomorrow. Not today. So I'm like, oh no. I worked out yesterday too. Yesterday I went for a run too. And a walk. So I'm like, oh no. No. Maybe tomorrow I can go to the store and get some. And then I can just add it to the salsa. Because it's going to be sitting in the refrigerator overnight anyways. But that just peed me off. This time too, I think I'm gonna do some roasted corn in there. I'm just gonna put the corn on the stove and like blacken it a little bit, add some seasoning to it, and then add it to the corn. I mean, add it to the salsa as well. Yeah. But right now, I have some Fashion Nova packages. I'm gonna open up. They've been sitting here for like a week. I haven't had a chance to open them up. I've been so busy. Like y'all, normally for me, when I get my Fashion Nova packages, I open them up immediately. For them to be sitting here for a week lets you know how crazy things have been. I'm just wearing this dress. It's so cute. All right. 
the mess I just made making this salsa is atrocious, but it is done. I have to go get some cilantro and lime, but I'm gonna let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. I know it looks crazy, but it tastes amazing. I put so many seasonings in there. I put so many different seasonings in there because I my salsa has to be seasoned. I ate some tahini for like some lime flavor and then um, paprika, but I, I put so much stuff in there. Um, I sauteed the corn on the stove, let it get a little blackened. I put some black beans in there. I rinsed them off before I put them in there. There's like three or four tomatoes, jalapenos, onions, pepper, just everything in there. It looks sort of dark because it's dark in here. Let me see. It looks gross, but it tastes amazing. Because I'm back again. Dinner is going to be this. Me and my brother are eating this for dinner. Um, I put it in the oven just now with some turkey pepperoni on there because like there's no meat on this. So turkey pepperoni on this. I was gonna make a salad, but I can't eat a salad and pizza at the same time. So it's just like, yeah. But that's it for today, I'm tired. I need to go fill my laundry up. I just got done grinding coffee up. It's been a busy day, I'm tired. I also did a, um, a YouTube live I was unboxing my fashion other packages on there. Um, I'm trying to get comfortable being alive. I do it so sporadically, so it's like I can never get comfortable because there's no consistency. So I'm trying to be more consistent with that. Lord, please, please, Jesus. But yeah, I'll show you the pizza when it gets done, but that's pretty much it for today. That is how it looks. I just put some Parmesan on top. I prefer it to be cut up into little squares, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Y'all, Cash never does this. Piece. He just came and got me, and look at what he did. He never, and all the time I bought him toys, he's never done this. And he even pulled this squeaker out. He He's so proud of himself. He was like, come on, let me show me. He ain't talking, you know. But he came and got me, was like, jumping up and down. I'm like, what's going on? He brought me in here. He's never, ever, ever tore his toy up. He got this one. He's had forever. That one he's had forever. He, he has another one. I don't know where it's at. I had to find it. But he's never done this before. Are you proud of yourself? Are you proud of yourself, Cashy Poo Poo's? Are you proud? Yeah, you Oh, whoa. Don't you don't get hurt. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa. Be careful. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Dear God. <laughs> he's so proud of himself. Yeah, his paw is red. I don't know why it's always been like that. I think the hair grows in red. Let me see. Oh, oh, Jesus. He's so cute. He's so proud of himself. Did you tear the toy up, Cash? Look at you. You tore a toy up. I'm so proud of you. You becoming vicious? You trying to be vicious? Yeah, you are. You trying to be vicious. It's so cute. I got to monitor her to make sure he don't eat none of this. All Life on Amazon sent over their fall candle set. These are 100% soy candles. They smell amazing when you open them up. When you burn them, the fragrance is softer than, like, let's say your Bath and Body Works candles. If you have a sensitivity to fragrance, these are going to be great for you. I really wish you guys could smell these candles through the camera. Unfortunately, you can't, but they are available on Amazon. I'm going to link them down below in the description bar. They smell amazing. And if you're like me and you really love fall, you're gonna love these candles. They smell just like you would expect fall to smell like, like the clove and the cinnamon and the pumpkin and the spice. You get all those scents from these candles. They are just so beautiful. And then like the package is also like aesthetically pleased. It goes with any background. It just brings in the ambiance of fall and I you guys know this is like my favorite season and it's definitely candle season so anyways you get all these candles I believe they're like $28 for all four together which is a lot cheaper than some of these other companies but we ain't gonna go there but um I'll see if I have a discount code if I do I'll link it down below for you guys so pretty so oh, you guys I've been stuck at 35 pounds for a while I've been trying to get to 40 so today I said I'm just gonna go for it Normally I do three sets of eight reps. Since I'm just jumping into the 40s, I'm gonna pump out as many reps as I can. Still doing three sets. And it's gonna be difficult, and it was, but we're gonna get it done. So by the time you get to like your eighth or sixth rep, you should be tired. 
you rest two minutes in between your sets and then you go do your next set my first set i think i did six my second four my third set another four but this is how it's going to work until i get comfortable with this weight and i can do eight reps per set I'm back from the grocery store and this is what I got. Um, English muffins for breakfast sandwiches, blueberries, strawberries for fiber, and for my sweet tooth. These mini hash browns, I saw them on TikTok, so I wanted to try them. I have some ranch packets for my cottage cheese because it makes great dip and it's high protein and low calorie. Applesauce for my sweet tooth, oatmeal for breakfast. I saw these zero sugar snack bites. I haven't tried them yet. I forgot I had them. I ain't gonna lie to you guys, but um, I got those as well. And that's the cottage cheese. I always get low fat. This oatmeal, I also saw this on TikTok as part of their like seasonal fall collection. So I wanted to try it out. It's all right. It's nothing to write home about. Um, protein chewy bars. Um, cream cheese for my tuna. Some salmon. I got two cartons of eggs too. I don't, I don't know if it's showing in this clip. But I got a mixture of different things. Y'all, these two together... Oh my God, such an amazing dip. Such an amazing dip. And it's high protein. So it's 12 grams of protein. Rather than having just like regular dip, it's only 80 calories. And you get a half a cup. It's a lot. I'm going to do a portion size and show you. When you're making this, like I would put like a splash of water or some milk in here. I'm doing water because like the less calories, the better. Because it will fight you a little bit. But you guys can see how smooth it gets. You can see the seasoning in there. Oh my gosh. So this is what it looked like before. So I did two servings. I did um, 14 grams of this. Hopefully that's the right portion because the other day I was just eyeballing the seasoning. <laughs> so we're going to see. But it looks good. Okay, so guys, this is a portion size. So you get all this dip for 80 calories. 12 grams of protein. So you can put your carrots, celery, um, pretzels, chips, whatever you want to dip. <laughs> you can dip it here. This is um, turkey breasts. I'm going to cut this up and eat some with some quinoa. I'll show you guys when you're done. It's ready. So I got my turkey, quinoa, and I heated up some of that sauce and put it on here. And it's actually good warm. I didn't think it was going to be warm, good warm, but it tastes really, really good. So this is my lunch for today. So I got some sushi, and then for extra protein, I have three ounces of grilled chicken. So like, I wanted to pop on real quick. I think this is like going to be like one of those extended vlogs because I haven't really had a chance to come on here that much this week, and um, I don't know. I've just been really busy, so I I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. I just I went to the gym leg day. I did a new routine or a new well it's not a new I, it's workouts I've done before but I'm structuring them differently and that whooped my butt. And it's steaming hot outside. So um went to the gym and then I went to Sam's Club. I did I got some groceries, did not even film them. I am so sorry. But I got some bear nuggets, of course, because you guys, I cannot stop eating those freaking bear nuggets. Um, I got some grilled chicken, like the, the it's this chicken, but it comes in strips. I just cut it up because I'm just weird. Uh, I got watermelon, pineapple. Um, dear God, what did I get? Protein bars, protein shakes. That's all I can remember. Now, that was like $70. That's not including what I spent at Aldi yesterday, which was like 70 
$69 my dad so like I'm done shopping for the month <laughs> I'm done I'm a single person like one individual why are groceries so high anyways I'm in. I need to get some sauce for these nuggets. Let me get some sriracha. Hold on. I have been filming, editing, filming, editing, filming, editing. And then today I have to do what? I have to film and edit. I said, that's it. I think today is the last day this week that I have to film and edit. I've, I've been going strong even over the weekend. I'm like, I need to decompress. I'm stressed out. Like between going to the gym and like really pitting in the work being on this fast um which has been going really really good i have not cheated can you believe that <sighs> my stomach is going down too let me show you guys but this is what my stomach is looking like dang the butt look big from this angle jesus makes my stomach look flatter but um this is what she's looking like right now i'm like <laughs> who was that who was that that shows you how much sugar is bad for you and how much sugar I'll be consuming. I told you guys, like, food is not my problem. Them are wrong. Food can't get me. But junk food? Oh, my God. I'm still eating chips, which I, I was hoping that on this fast I wouldn't eat chips. But, yeah. And then, of course, I'm not eating any red meat, so that's probably helping, too. But I've been going really good in the fast. I'm so freaking proud of myself. Mmm. But, um, let me eat. I don't have my chopsticks in here. I'm not, I'm not getting mad up. I'll be eating this sushi with my dang old hands. I got wasabi. I'm so excited. I love, I love wasabi. Mm. So good. Let me eat so I can go film. Cause I, I got to film and edit. And I got to release two videos today that are pending. So let me get that done. The dessert slash sweet treat for tonight is this mixed fruit. And then this yogurt. And then I just add half a scoop of this to the yogurt normally i've been putting that banana cream pudding mixture in here which has been so phenomenal i forgot to do it today because i got so busy but um i'm just gonna put half a scoop of that in here stir it up very 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 well and then eat this with my fruit so right now i'm here making breakfast i have eggs i'm using six of these i don't have egg whites today so whatever but i'm using six of these eggs this is going to be for um the next three days worth of meals i have nine and a half ounces of turkey i'm going to use that and then i have some cheese i'm going to use three servings of this it's 28 grams for each serving right there and i sauteed some onions i'm going to throw that in there as well so i'm going to scramble just all of that together i have my onions i'm going to take those out because i i cook those in advance because i need time for them to sweat down so i'm going to take this out put turkey in there let that saute a little bit add my eggs add my onions back and my cheese and let that all melt just become like a little bit of a scramble so I'll show you guys when I'm done. So guys, dinner is sort of random tonight. Um, I have quinoa. I want to mix, put some of these mixed vegetables in there. I'm trying to eat more vegetables because I keep forgetting. I don't know how. But I have quinoa. I want to do some of these vegetables. And I just have some ground beef. This is like a 97.3 wing ground beef. I want it burnt like a crispy, but I used the wrong pan. I should have put it in the cast iron. But it's okay. We're gonna make it work. It's this bag from um, Aldi's or Aldi. I always add an S to the end, Aldi's. But it's this one right here. Cleared, cleared. That was so good. And I got leftovers for tomorrow and the next day. Oh my, that was so good, you guys.
my workout I go back to the massage place so I can get a deep tissue massage oh my god I did not stretch I forgot to stretch I need to stretch when I get done with stretch um always stretch before and after your workout sometimes I forget and then I come home and I do it it's so important you might not feel it now but you will feel it later it might be later on in life but you won't feel it anyways so I'm in there giving me a deep tissue it is so hard to turn the AC on focus focus I'm so hot though okay hold on a minute but it, oh, I feel like I make stomach noise. Okay, let me hurry up. Okay, anyways, so I'm in the massage chair getting a massage, and I was thinking about um, the fast that we've been on. Um, and then I was like, when I get home, I need to update my video. Actually, no, I should probably wait till tomorrow. Um, I've been doing like a little video of where I started at, like my body, and where I'm at now, just to see a difference. I don't know if I'm going to share it or not. I got to see how I feel. I don't know if I'm going to share it or not. I got to see. Anyways, but I was like, my stomach is looking so much flatter. Today was ab day. I did like a new routine. I showed you guys in this video. I was gonna do my regular routine, but like um, the first thing I do in my regular routine is my planks. And when I got up off the floor, my knees were dirty. Keep in mind that before I started my workout, I wiped the mat down. I'm like, why is my knees dirty? Then I realized the mats, all of them are like sort of like peeling. So like that stained my leggings. So I'm like, oh, I can't do my regular routine. My regular routine has me on my knees. It has me on my back. I said, I'm gonna be filthy. Walking around the gym, that would be so embarrassing. My knees are already dirty, which is already embarrassing. So I did some different things. Um, but yeah, off top again. But I did film like a little snippet for you guys. Um, anyways, <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I want to do an update on my body to what it looks like. I'm so proud of myself. I've been doing so grand this fast. I haven't cheated and had any sugar, blah, 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 blah. Then I was like, this fast, I'm, I'm just thinking like, I'm like the fastest for sugar and red meat and I've been doing so good with both of those. And then boom, my mind said, Melissa, last night you had ground beef for dinner. I was like, what? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Oh my God, can I have that? Oh, I can't have that. Then I was like, Melissa, you went to the store 
and purchased ground beef with your vegetables and your salmon. I showed you guys my haul. And I was like, it didn't even occur to you. It didn't even occur to you that you are purchasing red meat. I'm just so used to going to the store and getting whatever. And my focus has been on making sure I don't have um, sugar. So I, I totally forgot about the, the red meat thing because I had already bought some groceries prior to starting the fast. So I was already in the mindset of eating like chicken and turkey. And um, I just went to the store to get some more stuff because I wanted some more stuff to add to my routine. Because I didn't want to eat the same thing every day. Whatever. And I'm like, Melissa, you had ground beef last night. <sighs> God, I ain't gonna lie to you. I almost started crying. I was laying down beside you. I'm like, oh my God, get it together, Melissa. I was just so mad. Because, like, it's one thing when you cheat on your fast and you're aware of it. But, like, I've been so focused and so dedicated. And to know I accidentally slipped up. Oh, that just, it just broke my heart. I'm able to get it together, get it together. So I said, I'm going to put the rest of the ground beef in the freezer. Um, and I'll just eat it in, when it passes over. And it was, oh, God. It was, you guys saw, I scraped that plate. It was so delicious. I don't know why all those things went together so well. I'm like, it's just ground beef and quinoa. But it was so good. I told my mom and my brother what happened. And my brother was like, oh, the fast is over. I'm like, no, it's not. No, it's not. He was like, you know, you spoiled the fast by eating some meat. I'm like, I know you're not talking, Mr. Birthday Cake. Mr. I gotta have some. It ain't even been a week into the fast, and you want some birthday cake. I'm like, boy, whatever. I said, look, we're still on the fast. We're gonna do this. So, um, I don't know. It's funny, but it's also like, you know, it's messed up. I was talking to my mom, too. She was like, oh my God, my stomach is going down. I'm like, yeah, mine is too. It's because we eat all that sugar. We eat so much sugar and so much red meat. Like, we don't even think about it. Don't get me wrong. I love my red meat. <laughs> Got to get my protein. But it's like, we don't even think about it. But I think the majority for me, actually, I think, I think for her too, because me and her are both like a crazy sweet tooth. Crazy, vicious sweet tooth, especially at night. But it goes to show me, because like, yeah, I have those moments where I'm like, oh, I want a cookie. Oh, I want some cake. I, I saw a video the other day. This man was eating some chocolate cake, like the kind you get from the, like the movie Matilda. I was like, oh, I want that cake so bad. So bad. But, um, I was like, I, I said, I got this. I got this. But, like, every once in a while, I get a craving for something. But other than that, it's been pretty good. Like, I haven't really been going crazy, which goes to show me how much self-control I actually do have. But I'm just, like, a little too lenient with myself when it comes to junk. So, I'm hoping I can carry this with me after the fast is over. But, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to make something to eat. I, I just got them watering the garden, too. There's something coming in in the back. I'm not sure what it is. But one of the plants is sprouting these little bulbs. Green bulbs all over it. I'm like, what is that? Is it peppers? Is it tomatoes? Is it I don't know what it is. And then we, we have carrots, onions, jalapenos, green onions. And I'm like, all this stuff is under the ground. I don't know when to pull it out or when to start digging in there to see if it's ready. I don't know. So I'm like, don't just go out there and pull something out and see what it looks like. I'm about to tear something up, something in its mother, something in its baby. That sounds so horrible. But I'm about to eat some meat. Some meat. Probably some chicken. So, bye, boo. So guys, instead of using the ground beef, I just cooked some salmon in the air fryer and I'll have that in here instead. It's the same as the ground beef. It's not, but it's still good, so I let it slide. This watermelon is so good. It's so sweet. Like, just look at it. It's juicy and sweet. I just, hold on a minute. I'm trying to go to sleep. I feel like taking a nap, but I'm trying to take a nap because I hate taking naps, but I'm really tired. Mmm. Oh, it's yummy. It's dripping on me. Mmm. God. <laughs> It is so good. Oh man, it's gonna drip on me. Oh. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was that? It is Saturday. It's Saturday. I'm about to go to Target 
meet up with my brother. We're gonna get like some snacks. We're gonna do like a scary movie day or something. I don't know. If this is his idea. I don't know what exactly what's going on. Oh, well, let me show you guys my outfit. Um, how am I gonna do this? I don't have my tripod in here. Hold on, let me get my tripod. Okay, so I have this dress here. This is from Fashion Nova. I think I've had it for like a year or two. I never wore it before. <laughs> um, this, I don't know where this is from. I just always throw it on it because it goes with everything and it's comfortable. Um, Target. And then my shoes, they're also from Target. These are really old though, so I don't know. But this is what I'm wearing today. Oh, my hair. These are clip-ins. I'm trying to like, top my hair rest. So like I haven't did anything to it in like a week or two. So like the top of my hair is out, but like all around it's clip-ins. So I have a scarf on top so that you can't tell. This is how I wore it yesterday too. Um, I don't know how long I'm gonna do this. I have a wig coming, I have to review, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear it for the review video. But then like, I don't wanna keep it in my head because I'm trying to like this, cause I want this to rest. So, yeah. But yeah, this is the fit. Oh, what kind is this one? That one's cute too. Looking like a snack. What flavor is it? It's just sour gummy worms. All right, grape punch and fruit punch. Ooh. Okay. Is this not eating? What's his name? Terrence Howard? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> When they come out with season two of Wednesday, it's like so overdue. Okay, you love you suck too much. Let's go. <laughs> no, no cards. Y'all hear him say that? I do suck at games though. I really do suck at games. I suck really bad. Extremely. Well, I didn't ask you to advocate. All right, what's the, what's the problem looking for? Instigate, antagonize. This is era with the pink. This was the era. Girl dresses. Oh my god! I used to love me some Barbie. There's some, and I remember I had a Jasmine doll. And then somebody pulled the head off of it and I had to shove it back on and she never looked the same. And I was so upset for years. For years. Who, who pulled the head off? Was it you? Somebody pulled the head off my Jasmine doll. I was real peed off because I just loved her so much. She's my favorite princess. Why love her? What am I going to do with a Jasmine doll now? Instead of keep it encapsulated and love it forever. But we ain't going to go there. <laughs> Free my sis. Keep it encapsulated and love it forever. And why she got so many kids? She had her white girl. Hey, little white girl, hey. I never understood this fab. What's with, what's with you girls and Barbie dolls? Damn, it's fun. Hers come with a dog. What's up with hers? Mm. Stupid accessories. I think it's adorable. Look at this. It's a whole Barbie nation. Look at this car. She got a, of course she got a, a, a car. Look at this. Come on. She got the Jeep. I haven't been over here since I was. Oh, this is just fabulous, though, darling. This is fabulous. You can drive it. for a dream house. Yeah, right. That thing is massive. Wow. They did elevators since I was a kid. I ain't seen all this stuff. This is crazy. I don't know why I never come over here. Well, I am an adult now, but you know, sometimes it's good to like revisit your childhood. Uh, not WNBA Barbie. <laughs> wow. Let me go from over here. Probably end up buying some Barbie stuff I don't need. You wouldn't. Look at her hair. What's going on here? That's a hot mess central. Oh no. <laughs> Let's not. The yoga Barbie with the doggy. That is so cute. I can imagine this. You buying a Ken doll? Me like, is he, why are you buying this? If you ever did see that, don't judge me. I'll record it and put it on YouTube. Please don't record it. Please. If you ever see me playing with Barbie and Ken, just, just ignore it. <gasps> How about I walk past her? Hello, Queen. Hello, Christmas Barbie. You are fabulous, darling. She's gorgeous. She got the baby hairs and everything. I'm done. I'm cackling. Please don't tell me that's a collector. Look at, look at the yeah. shoes. I think it is a holiday. It's, Bobby signature. She's cute. She's fab. A Target Barbie. Where? I see. Oh <laughs> Lord. <sighs> so this is the movie snacks. We got popcorn, hot Cheetos, mixing those together. 
got some of these, some of these. I don't know if this really qualifies as a sugar. It's not cookies, it's not pie, cake, whatever, but we got these. So that's what we're eating with our movie. We're gonna be trying this out. This is a brand new um, pop from Coke. I've seen like two, maybe three reviews. Everybody's saying it's good, I don't know, but we're gonna find out. I'm really scared. This is creepy as crap. His eyes is blinking. Oh, his face is moving up. Why are I just not seeing it? <laughs> okay. As you play your game, every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Oh, let me pause this real quick. So, on the first round of the game, um, I got to a point where I had to go find my sister out in the, in the wild or whatever. She had ran out the cabin, so she's out in the cold. And so, we flew off a cliff. I had to hold her up. And like the game asked me, do I want to let go of her? What else was it? Uh, let go or, or, or uh, drop Hannah. Oh yeah, so I had to choose whether I was going to keep holding her or not. I was like, bye. <laughs> drop that shit. <laughs> I dropped her. And then when I dropped her because of that, because um, I, I was fighting this guy off or trying to grab him or something towards the top. But because of that, I, I fell too. So then both characters died because I chose to let her go. Hilarious. In real life, I wouldn't do that. But because it's a game... I would do that. We're eating dinner or whatever you want to call it. So we have taquitos, cheese, and salsa verde. I prefer red salsa, but he likes green salsa, so I'm letting it slide. Let me give me essays, but I'm letting it slide. But this is what we're having. Then I have my snacks over here. I don't think I'm going to eat all this at one time. I, I ain't even touched my sweets yet, but we're going to see. Guys, it is 1 o'clock in the morning, 1 a.m. Um, me and my brother just got done playing the game. Like, we thought it was like nine o'clock maybe it is 1 a.m we have been so wrapped up in this game slash movie we did not even realize what time it was i said Debbie, you know i'm starting to feel tired what time is it it's 1 a.m <laughs> and we didn't even finish it <laughs> we didn't even finish it so i don't know when we're going to finish it but i gotta admit i'm not a gamer but that was really freaking fun but um, I'm going to do my skincare and I'm going to sleep because I'm tired. Why do I look so blue? But <laughs> I'm doing my skincare and I'm going to sleep. I will see you guys tomorrow. So tonight I'm trying a new concoction. I'm making it now. I'm going to eat it tomorrow. But a girl on TikTok said that she takes the cottage cheese and mixes it with the cheesecake instant pudding, the sugar-free kind. And it tastes just like cheesecake. I'm questioning that. I'm so scared it's going to be like salty or weird, but we're going to see. I put one and a half teaspoons of the pudding mix in here. I also put five grams of vanilla. That's the brown stuff you're seeing. I put a splash of almond milk to help loosen it up. And I'm just adding some strawberries in there. So this is like one serving of cottage cheese in there on the bottom, which is 114 grams. I'm going to blend it up on the blender and then put it in the refrigerator overnight. And we're going to try it tomorrow. So guys, I just, or just right, I can't talk. <laughs> I just got back from the dentist's office. I was going in for my like routine cleaning. And like last year, I got a root canal on a tooth, a tooth over here. And they were like, your insurance doesn't cover the crown. So if you want to get the crown, you got to pay out of pocket. So I said, okay, how much is it? I'm thinking it's going to be a couple hundred dollars. He was like, it's $2,000. Hold on, he said two, he, he just said two thousand or one thousand. I was like, oh, that's a wrap. <laughs> that's not happening because I ain't got that. So he was like, you know, you will you, you will need a crown at some point. So I'm like, whatever. That was late last year. I haven't had any problems. And then a couple of days ago, I kept having a problem. Like, like I feel like like food was getting caught in that area. I said, is there a gap right there? What's going on? So like it was time for my cleaning. So I scheduled my cleaning. I said they can go check it, take a look at it and see if there's anything wrong with it. They told me that it looks good still, but I need to get my crown put on. This year they cover a crown. I was like, what? We're doing it. Let's get this done. So um, they had to get me, they had to file my tooth down. Like I don't know what I thought getting a crown. I, I never had a crown before. So I, I don't know what I thought the procedure was. I, I'm thinking they're just going to snap something over top of it and seal it in like with some bonding or something. But they had to like literally file my tooth down to like a nub. And it was like so anxiety producing. I was just trying to be calm. I'm looking overhead at the little sky thing they got overhead. I mean, I'm trying to keep calm. 
And then they had to do some kind of scan, which took forever. They just got this big old thing in my mouth, just going around my mouth over and over and over and over. I was like, this is just exhausting. And then they had to stop for a while and then start back up again with this scanner. It took forever, guys. I can't even, I can't even put a timeline on it. I was there forever. My appointment was at 11. I didn't leave until almost 1. So that gives you an idea. And I got there early. I got there at 10.30. And they took me in immediately, which I was really surprised But I got there early. Um, so I was there from 10.30 to almost 1. So you can imagine how long they were in my mouth. Right now, I can't really feel this part of my mouth because he numbed it. And, like, even my nose is numb. Like, on this side, it's numb. So my my... My nose is numb, my mouth is numb. I can't even feel this lip. It feels so heavy. My lip is just flapping. Anyways, but they put a temporary crown in there. It's really gritty feeling. It's weird. I was looking in the mirror trying to figure out which one it was. Like, it looks so good. I can't see which one it is. But um, I can feel it with my tongue. Anyways, so a temporary crown. And now I gotta go back. I think it's like a week or so. I go back and he was like, don't eat anything crunchy or hard. Because, like, this is only, like, a temporary aesthetic thing that's in your mouth. So, you don't want to knock it out. If it does fall out, come back and we'll put it back in. I'm like, what? If it falls out? Like, the idea of, like, swallowing it while I'm asleep is terrifying. But he said, yeah, if it falls out, come back in. I'm like, <laughs> he said, we'll put it back. I said, okay. But another thing they told me, which, like, I don't want to get excited, but I want to get excited. But I don't want to get excited, you know, but, I've, I've wanted this for so many years as a child. It was not something that we could afford. And as an adult, I still can't afford it. But he was saying that your insurance, it covers braces now. I'm like, what? Which, I'm sorry, he didn't say it. The girl before him, the one who did my cleaning, she said that. She was so sweet. She she was perfect. Perfect. She was neat. She didn't want to suck the, the, the water out your mouth. And when the, she was gentle. She was amazing. And she smelled amazing. Anyways, but um, he was saying... Well, she, I'm sorry, she was saying your insurance covers braces now. I was like, are you freaking... I've wanted braces for so long. Because I have, like, little baby teeth. And then, like, they're spaced apart because I don't have a lot of teeth. Like, I have, like, little chiclets. Like, I got, like, my first... What is it? My first set? No, I still have my first set of teeth. Something like that. I didn't get, like, that new set that everybody else gets. I don't want to describe it, but I have, like, little baby teeth. So, um, and they're spaced apart because they're so small in, a, in an adult mouth, you know. And then I have like a um, an underbite because I used to. Is it an underbite? Yeah, it's an underbite. Like my bottom teeth stick out just a little bit further than my top teeth. I used to suck my thumb off a little girl. And my mom and daddy fought me about sucking my thumb. They would put like hot peppers and hot sauce and everything on my thumb. I was still sucking my thumb. It took a long time for me to stop. My mom was like, "You gotta stop sucking your thumb. You're gonna mess your mouth up." But I, I just it was such a habit. It was a comfort thing. The idea of getting braces now, I was like, yes. And like I don't know, I don't want like the whole metal mouth thing. But if I could get my teeth fixed and, like, not have to get veneers, because I don't want to get veneers. I never want to be that person. Like, especially now if I got to grind my teeth down. Because just grinding that one tooth down today was traumatic. And then the upkeep with veneers, it just, that's too much. And then that's just not in my budget. But, like, if I could get braces and have them in for a year or two and actually correct my mouth, I would be so freaking grateful. And then, like, I was telling the guy, because he was telling me about my braces and how the consult was going to go and everything. And I was laughing. He was like, why are you laughing? I was like, it's funny to be getting braces at my age. And he was like, if you wanted to, you can see if they can do Invisalign. Because I'm, I'm thinking your insurance covers Invisalign, too. I was like, what? What? So, I don't, I don't know. I still got to go to the consult and everything, so I don't know for sure. That fluoride is like, ugh, I hate when you do the fluoride. It's like all over my teeth and my mouth. But, um... I told you guys, I'm trying to learn how to float and to believe good things can happen to me. So, like, if I could get braces or Invisalign, either way, I'm grateful. I, I would prefer Invisalign because, like, I, I don't want to have, like, the metal mouth. You, you guys know I'm already shy. I'm already very shy. And, like, my lisp and my stuttering and then my teeth. Like, you guys know I always smell like this. I never smile with my teeth. But, um... Those things have really helped me back for many years from being social because I'm always afraid that I'm going to stutter or lisp or people are going to ask me about my teeth. Like, I used to get ridiculed about my teeth off a little girl. But um, to get my smile corrected. And I'm like, if they do get my, my teeth aligned 
will the lisp go away or is it just because of my tongue is it because of the way my lips are formed like what is that i know some people are like oh i love your lisp but i just oh god sometimes i hate having a lisp sometimes i hate it so much because i feel like a little girl and i already deal with that thing of like not feeling my age so the lisp keeps me in this little girl mindset and it just makes me feel so awkward but I don't know. I don't know if getting braces and fixing my teeth fixes the list, but like to get my teeth corrected, that would be so insanely amazing. And I know Invisalign takes longer. Um, and then you gotta be consistent with using your new trays and putting your trays in, taking them out and all that other stuff. But I would just be so grateful to get this done. To get this done, I would be so freaking grateful. So like c crowns covered by insurance. I gotta get one here. So I have a temporary one here. And then they got to do another one in the back, but that's a, that's a whole nother procedure because they got to do a root, a root canal on this one. I'm going to be living at the dentist's office for the next few weeks. So now I got to go see a specialist. So I don't know when the braces are going to be coming in. It might be a few weeks or a few months from now. I don't know. But I really pray to God that this does get to come to pass and that I get the results that I'm desiring because this would be so amazing. So absolutely amazing. Here, he said it's going to be a few more hours like this. And I got to go to the store. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here and wait. I have some packages coming anyway, so I wanna be on the lookout for them because the porch pirates is real. So I'm gonna be sitting right here looking out the window waiting for UPS, USPS, whoever's coming to deliver these packages. So y'all, it's been like two hours. I have a little bit more control in my mouth, but it's still very, very numb. But I don't wanna be sitting in the house all day, so I wanna go to the store and I can go ahead and get the decorations from my bedroom. Um, I was telling you guys I want to decorate with the candles. So um, I want to get some fall inspired things. I want to go and get that. And I need to go to Target and get my iron pills. They've had my iron pills ready for eight days. I don't send you like a notification like, you have five days left, you have three days left. I keep forgetting over and over and over again. And I go to Target like almost every day. And I keep forgetting to get my iron pills. So I think I'm gonna go there. Uh, I don't wanna go there first though. So. Uh. Well, we're gonna go there. Prayerfully, uh, I don't forget, and they put it back. But we're gonna go there, get my iron pills, and then go to like the dollar store to get some decoration. Actually, I think I'm gonna go to the dollar store first, cause like Target got some cute stuff for like their decorations, but like of course the dollar store is less expensive. So I want to see what I find there first, and then we'll go to Target and see what they have, so we can like contrast and compare. But yeah, that's what we're about to do right now. I'm just wearing this basic two-piece set. It's loose around my stomach, so they keep falling down, so I kinda, I kinda keep pulling them up. So I don't care, I'm not, I'm not going to change my outfit. I'm gonna have to keep struggling with it. I have the same outfit in yellow, but I can't remember if it's a size smaller or a size bigger. I'm just wearing my Fitville shoes, cause I'm gonna be walking. Um, so yeah, let's get going. So guys, I'm back from the store. I put everything in here. I got three bags of stuff from the dollar store. I got enough stuff here to like really decorate. So I wanna change, I wanna change all of this. This is the new stuff that I need to put out. I, I gotta put that away. But um, I wanna change all of this and make it more festive. So I'm gonna get started and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I get done and then
and right now I have all the stuff taken off. I'm so mad because I just realized that I purchased like some flickering light candles. Yeah, here we go. So I purchased some of these. They're fake candles. Let me turn it on. They're so cute, right? But then I forgot that I have these already because this is part of the theme. So these are also flickering light candles, but they're like hang from the ceiling. So, yeah. But we're gonna see what we can do. This is gonna take a while to get this stuff up. It's already getting dark outside. So, uh, I got so much to do. So I have it set up. I'm so mad it's dark now. So I, I might have to wait till tomorrow to show you guys. Cause like, it just looks weird. The color is not there, but it's so cute. I have some snacks here. That's for after my fast. Well, the Reese's Cups are. The other ones is raisins and sunflower seeds. But the Reese's Cups, my mom bought me those. Cause she knows I love those pumpkins. I'm like, mommy, I can't eat them too fast is over. She's like, I know, but you can have them right now. To me, it's like a good exercise and self-control because I can't have them. So it's less like, I don't know. Anyways, but <laughs> this is what it looks like right now. This is just so pretty. I'm mad because I was going to put like all my Harry Potter books up there. But I forgot that when I got done reading the first three, four, that I put them like one of those little book libraries on the street. You know, those little mailbox box things they have full of books for for free i put the books in there so like i only have these two and then the one i'm reading right now so they still look good with decorations but this is what it looks like now it's so cute this is going to be great for the fall slash halloween season even for Christmas decoration. Like, this is just fantastic. It is the next day, and we're going to be trying this. I'm not going to lie. This is one of those things that I am very scared about, and I have no hope for. Absolutely no hope. So this is the cottage cheese cheesecake instant pudding mix with strawberry and vanilla. I should have added some protein powder to this. I didn't even think about it just now, but I should add some protein to that to make it even more protein rich. Oh God, I am nervous. Like my stomach is literally turning. It's still pretty chunky too. Oh my God, what if it's not sweet? I'm worried it's gonna be like savory tasting with sweet mixed in, but let's see. I gotta smell it first. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, no. Mm-mm. No, indeed. No, and somebody lied. Somebody lied. Oh, my. Mm-mm. Don't do it, y'all. That, that was a, a, a try and a fail. Do not do this to yourself. Mm-mm. So I can't. I cannot. This is not the cheesecake. This is um, Greek yogurt with protein powder, fruit, and then I crumbled some of that cereal bar on top for a little bit of crunch. Y'all, I've been eating this for the past few days, and every day I'd be so excited to eat it, I forget to film. But it's just an um, English muffin, like one, one and a half eggs, some cheese, and then some of that grilled chicken I purchased. I put the chicken in the air fryer so it gets crispy. But this is so fire. And it's high protein. I've been tearing it up every morning. I just got home from the gym. Today is Tuesday, whatever the date is. It's Tuesday. So this morning I woke up, my period is on. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I do not want to hear this. I ain't been to the gym since Friday. And um, I'm like, I'm going to the gym because I miss going to the gym. I was going to go Sunday, but I, I just, I did not have the desire to, to go so I stayed home and then yesterday was my dentist appointment so I was like I'm gonna go today tomorrow next thing you know what I'm saying so I said I'm going to the gym hopefully my period won't be this bad this time like it was last time now I, I told you guys last time my period was really light I had zero cramps the entire time it was absolutely incredible so I'm like maybe this time it'll be the same way however I was told you guys in my last video, I didn't know if it was the running or like my sister suggested that it might have been the smoothies that were 
cutting back my period and making it so pleasant. So this month, I made sure to not drink any smoothies. I haven't had any of those smoothies since, I think, my last period. But yeah, I was like, I'm not going to drink any more smoothies. I, I still have one more bag. I, I went through two bags. So like in each bag, it's like three pouches. So I went through two bags, and I have one bag left. So I said, I'm going to wait and save it until my period comes so I can know what's going on with my body. Girl, so today I woke up, period was on, but no cramps. So I said, okay, maybe it's going to be like it was last time. I get to the gym. I'm halfway through my arm day. I'm getting it in. All of a sudden, my body went boom. I said, oh, my God. What is going on? What is going on? So I'm like just breathing through it, breathing through it. I'm like, it's going to pass. It's okay. Maybe it's just a little fluke. Girl, my, my cramps just started coming and coming and coming. I'm like, no, it's back, it's back. So what I have deduced in my scientific experiment is that the smoothies are affecting my period. And that is so disappointing because these smoothies are seasonal. So like I went to the store the other day to get some more because I love the way they taste. They didn't even have it anymore. They had like this kind of strawberry kiwi kind of combo. I'm like, I don't want that. I don't want that. So I have one bag left. So the only other option I have is to go to the store and try to find all the ingredients in that smoothie so I can make them myself. I'm thinking it's the turmeric. I'm thinking it's because it has fresh turmeric in there. It's turmeric, ginger, pineapple, I think, papaya. Hold on, let me show you guys. So it's, it's a turmeric smoothie. It has mango, orange, papaya, ginger puree, and turmeric. So it looks like this is from Aldi. This made my period last time a dream, a light flow, short period, no cramps. So I'm going to suck this bag down. Oh, I don't have any apple juice. I'm going to do a water today because I don't know. But normally I, I scoop in, I scoop in my protein powder and then it says to add apple juice on here. But I don't have any apple juice. Well, we're going to do water. I'm going to test it out today. I'm going to give you guys the answer for sure. But I'm going to test it out today and see. I don't, but just, I don't know if it works that quick. We're going to see. But I'm going to test it out today when I get back home. And we're going to see if I'm in my drink. I didn't have any apple juice. So I just used like one of my little powder sugar-free Starburst packets. I just used like a sprinkling of that in here. And I used four ounces of water. I'm, I'm only doing half a packet because um, the full packet is just too much. It's like eight ounces of liquid plus my protein, plus the fruit. Like, my stomach can't handle it because my stomach is so small. That sounds so vain. My stomach is so tiny, so it's it, that's it. No, you guys know I had surgery. But um, I'm going to drink this. My cramps are kicking my butt. Normally, I'm popping Advil. I'm trying to wait till I drink this and see if I feel different. And then um, if it doesn't kick in about an hour or two, I'm going to pop some Advil. <laughs> but right now, we're going to test this out. It tastes so good, even with the sugar-free pack, which is good because it saves calories. The protein powder is like 100 something calories by itself, plus the fruit, plus the juice. So if I, if I can cut out the juice and still get the good taste, I'm happy, even though apple juice does have fiber, I believe. Anyways, let me go. I got a little film. So, yeah, I'll cut you guys, hey guys later. I'm editing the vlog. I just realized I didn't update you about the turmeric thing. Forgive how I look. It's the end of the night. I've been working on this vlog for hours. I am exhausted, depleted, whatever. Anyways, but um, the turmeric drink. So on the first day I drank it, I want to say about two, three hours later, my cramps had like deduced to like half. I could still feel them, but they weren't like horrible. The next day, no cramps whatsoever. I normally have cramps the first two days, like just really bad cramps, um, heavy cycle. But um, so the first day, I, I would say about two or three hours later, my cramps had like cut down. I want to say about halfway, like they weren't nearly as bad. I did not take any Advil or anything, and normally I'm taking Advil all day, the first and second day. Um, and then the next day, my cycle slowed down, and then it just disappeared. It disappeared. I drank only one pack. I took one pack of the um, the fruit, and I split it in half. And so I had that one half a drink the first day, and the other half the next day. And it immediately kicked in. I don't know if it's safe for it to be like shutting down your cycle like that but honestly I was so grateful to just have the reprieve and I'm going to find the, where I can buy these ingredients at because somebody has to sell turmeric 
I haven't had a chance to research it. I've been so busy, but um, I still have one more pack left. <laughs> I have one more pack left, so I'm gonna save it for my next cycle. But um, I'm gonna do it like maybe a couple days beforehand. But um, I'm gonna find the turmeric in the ginger. I'm, somebody sells it. I want to find it. But I just want to give you guys an update because I hate being inconsistent. So hopefully that was helpful. So if, if you if you suffer with period cramps, a heavy flow. This might be what you need. I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out there. I ain't no doctor. But I'm just putting it out there. Alright. Back to editing. Love you guys. I feel like I'm always cooking. And I'm so tired of it. But <laughs> whatever. Um, this is just some tuna salmon patty kind of thing going on here. Just like very like snacking. And um, it's high protein, so like this is two cans, so each can is 26 grams of protein. So this is like what 52 grams of protein just right here. So this is going to be for snacking right now. I'm making dinner as well. I just roasted some vegetables, it's this one, and then I have some salmon in the air fryer and then some cauliflower, some cauliflower rice cooking. So guys, this is my breakfast today. I have the cocoa salt oatmeal. It's my first time trying it. Hopefully I like it. Eggs, and then my tuna salmon patties. My voice is so deep, I just got up. But um, it is my tuna salmon patties. Eggs, I have a little bit of cheese in there too. And then my oatmeal. So guys, before the video ended, I wanted to update you about the garden, which, girl, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> So I believe this is supposed to be tomatoes. Absolutely no tomatoes on here, but the leaves are growing. I think some of this stuff is weeds. I don't know for sure, I need to go through there. The kale, I have some boards in front of it because the sun is eating it up. I come out here water like almost every day and the sun is just eating it up so bad. So you can see how it looks. So I put some boards like to block the sun because like when it starts going down in the day, it just eats the kale up. But there's three big bushes of it. That's all the kale right here, all through here. Um, girl, my mama didn't plant so much stuff. The carrots, I don't know how they're like seem. They seem to be everywhere. They're down there. They, they came all the way down. I don't understand it. Um, I saw the first one sprouting. Oh, there it is. Hope I can get it on camera. Cause I was looking. I'm like, how do you know when they're ready? And I saw that it said that when they start poking up out of the grass, they're ready. Do I? I said out of the grass, out of the um, soil. So there goes one right there poking up. But it looks to be so skinny. So I'm like, I don't think I want to touch that. So hopefully my camera is focusing on it. But it's like right there. I want to go dig through there, but I don't want to wreck it. Um, lettuce. Somehow it got over here, even though it wasn't planted there. <laughs> it was planted by the kale. Like, where did it go? I think it's dead now. It was somewhere in this area. The, the lettuce, yeah, it's right there. It's right there, right there. Somehow it died over there and went all the way over there. Don't ask me. They're supposed to be, is that a mushroom going back there? Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Look at that. It's giving mushroom. It's supposed to be onions back there. And I don't think that's an onion because it looks massive. But it's supposed to be like onions. I don't know what these leaves are. Like everything grew leaves, different types of leaves. So I don't know what's what. But it's supposed to be peppers. And I'm like, do peppers come out of the ground or do they grow in the ground? I have absolutely no idea. Uh, my mom said she planted onions back there. But if they are, <gasps> oh y'all look at the pepper. Oh my God, look, oh my God. Ah, I didn't even see that. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so crazy to me. Back to one, okay. The corn, it was coming in so beautifully, all of a sudden it just started looking like that. I just think the sun is just way too hot. I don't know if it's going to continue to grow throughout the um, 
the fall, but it is just dying. When I get done filming, I'm gonna water the, the garden again. And then this, I don't know what this is. My mom said it's the peppers, but I'm like, is it the peppers or is it tomatoes? Cause like, what is this? It has like these little green balls growing all over. And the balls are different colors. Like the ones over there are light green. These are dark green. So I don't know. I'm not really sure what these little green things are. It's so funny cause think about it y'all. This is like whatever this is supposed to be. And then my mom planted watermelon right here. <laughs> I said, Mom, do you know how big and invasive watermelon is? So I don't know how this, and of course there's no watermelon. I haven't seen that one sprouting. I don't know if they're gonna grow through the fall or not. So unless these clusters are watermelon, which I don't think they are, because I think they grow separately on a vine, but I don't know. And they have these little flowers coming in, which is cute. But yeah, so this is how the garden's growing. We're gonna have to come through here and weed. It's just, I don't know what's weeds and what's plants. I don't know how the carrots are everywhere. I don't know where the tomatoes are at. I don't know where the onions are at. And then now I see a pepper coming in, but I'm like, how are the peppers over there? When she said they were over here and she said those are tomatoes, but I'm thinking maybe these are tomatoes. I don't know. Girl, it's a mess. It's a mess. And then all this stuff is cross pollinating from my neighbor's yard. So I don't know what this stuff is. It's coming into the garden. So yeah, it's a mess. It's a mess. Next year, we're planting a garden over here. That's why I wanted that originally. Cause like it's, it's sunlight directly all the time. And um, you can see it clearly. You have enough space to separate everything. Hopefully we'll clear this out over here and pit a garden over here as well. So that's the update for now.